Hello and welcome back to PSD Touch Plus. I'm Martin Perhiniak and this is the Shortcut series. Today I am going to talk about Photoshop's best friends, Illustrator and InDesign. I would like to show you the ways of copy and pasting elements between these documents and using the PSD file format in Illustrator and InDesign. So I am going to talk about the advantages of the Photoshop document format outside of Photoshop and a couple of options that you will get when you move elements from Illustrator into Photoshop. So first of all, let me show you one thing which is quite simple and generic. Then when we have something in Photoshop and uh, raster image and we drag and drop it into Illustrator, we will be able to trace it. So I can use the move tool and drag and drop into Illustrator by letting go there. And then if I zoom a bit closer, you can see it's still a raster image. But if I click on image trace and I choose an tracing option, in this case, I will probably use black and white logo, then we will have a very nice result. This is a very conventional way of working between Photoshop and Illustrator. But what happens if we turn the whole workflow around and we move an image from Illustrator into Photoshop? So let me do that. I go back to Bridge and I am going to open an EPS file in Illustrator. So I open up this EPS file and I select, drag and drop it back into Photoshop. And as you can see, it comes up with a smart object. If I delete this one here and I create another layer below, fill it in with white, then you can see that this is smart object. And the source of this smart object is completely in vectors. It came from Illustrator. So I can change the size as much as I want. I will always have nice sharp details. So just to prove it to you, let me just zoom closer. You can see even if I resize it, it will be still sharp. The great thing uh, if you copy and paste an object from Illustrator into Photoshop and it comes in as a smart object is that you can start applying uh, smart filters onto this. So I can, for example, go to filter and choose oil paint, which is a CS6 uh, new filter. And I am going to change the options here a bit and something like that. If I click on OK, I could apply this filter inside Photoshop onto an Illustrator object. If I go back double clicking on the smart objects um, thumbnail, I can still change these things around. I rotate this circle in the background and maybe even change its color. Let me just change it to something else and make it pink. For example, if I save this and go back to Photoshop, all the changes will automatically update. So I have a direct connection between Illustrator and Photoshop if I copy something from Illustrator into Photoshop. That's a very useful way of working and again a big advantage of working with vector smart objects. But I would like to also show you what happens if we put a PSD file into Illustrator. Something similar will happen. Let me go to Bridge and I am going to put this PSD file into Illustrator. So I just drag and drop it here. And whenever I select this, I can see an option here on the top called Edit Original. Even if we go to Image Trace and choose, let's just say, black and white logo on this image, and it creates a trace like this, still, we will be able to edit the original if we go to Edit Menu and choose Edit Original. And like here, for example, if I turn off the text, save, I save this and go back to Illustrator, I will get a warning that uh, it has to be updated. But if I click on yes, it will be updated and the text won't be there anymore. Even if we change the tracing result option, let's just say to three colors, you will see that the text is not there anymore. So even with PSD files inside Illustrator, you can have a non-destructive workflow and you can go back and forth, turn on layers, turn off layers and play around with the options. So it works back and forth. But what happens if we put a PSD file into InDesign? Because this is how we can work with Illustrator. But what happens if we do the same with InDesign? So let me just go back one step here and actually close this document. And I go uh, back to Bridge. So I have this document or this uh, PSD file and drag and drop it into InDesign. 
here we can create a frame for it now we have the PSD file in InDesign once again the advantage of using a Photoshop document in InDesign is that we can turn on and off the layers or even layer comps if we have been using them so if I right click on this now I can choose the object layer options and here I can see all my layers from Photoshop so for example we can turn off the black and white option and if we have the preview on we can see it automatically updates you can turn off the vibrance turn off the image and so on and so forth so you can see here we can even choose a layer comp if we have a layer comp set up in the Photoshop document but we can easily customize what is visible by turning these layers on and off so let me just click on cancel so these were the most important options and interactions between InDesign Illustrator and Photoshop I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you join me next time I am going to show you how to create a web design specifically the header of a website non-destructively thanks a lot for your attention and i hope to see you next time